Hi guys, Ryu here from Blender Bros and in this video we're going to be talking about probably the most underrated and unused and unknown tool in hard ups, but a very powerful one. Let's go. So let's grab a cube and uh, I'm going to drop it in here. By the way, if you don't use hard ups, we have tons of videos on hard ups and also a course on hard ups, ultimate guide to hard ups and box cutter. And the link to hard ups and box cutter bundle is in the video description. So go ahead and check it out. It's a fantastic add on and we swear by it. Now, uh, let me just grab this cube here and I'm going to cut it with box cutter like this. OK, I'm going to press X three times and I'm going to press T for solidification to create inset bullion, which in vanilla blender will make you want to kill yourself. So let's assume I wanted to cut this face further. I wanted to, you know, sort of uh, somehow select these two faces and keep cutting, but I cannot do that because this cube is basically still a cube. There is no, you know, this cut, it's a, it's a boolean, it's a modifier, right? So if I wanted to grab the cutter, on the other hand, this is, a, you know, this is an inset cutter, which I'm going to go to edit mode. You can see it's quite complex. It's a composed out of solidification and boolean. It's not that easy to actually uh, manipulate with. I need to apply that to be able to extract these two faces. It's a pain in the ass, okay? But what you can use is the uh, face extract tool, which is brilliant. So guys, if you'd like to learn more about hard ups and box cutter, a lot of tricks and tips and the whole workflow, we have a free course for you guys on our website, link in the video description. So grab it. It's, you know, like I said, it's free and it will teach you how to create a model, how to render it, etc. And if you don't use add-ons, you're starting with Blender, you're kind of intimidated by all the tools. We have a fantastic free course for you. It's a jumpstart hard surface course for Blender. And this course will teach you everything you need to know about Blender. Actually, even if you are add-on user, I think you you might benefit a lot from this uh, free jumpstart course because there is an introductory section where uh, we introduce a lot of important things like the whole menu setup, render settings, compositor settings and all that. Both courses are free, links in the video description, you can grab them from our site. So what you do is select the cube, go to Q, go to Mesh Tools and go to Face Extract. Now you can see there is a menu on the right hand side, you can open it and collapse with H. And there's a menu here and there's one more here there's a tab menu okay you can press tab and uh, access this menu i'll show you later but the very basic operation with this tool i would select the face which will turn red and shift select this one we under boolean mind you press space then i can actually draw the boolean here either in or out and click and go inside the mesh okay or outside and press a and i can do something like that which is pretty cool Right now, if I'm going to go to edit mode, I can keep editing these. So I could actually grab, for example, this edge, control B and scroll it and create, you know, a bevel like that. Another thing you can do with this tool is cutting a sort of a piece of a mesh. So let's say I wanted to grab this top face, which again, is impossible in Vanilla Blender because this is just a cut. It's an illusion still, right? I want to grab this face and insert it a little bit lower. I can do that with face extract. Now watch this. I'm going to click here, go to Q, go to Mesh, Face Extract, click that face on the top, press Space, right? And then instead of going inside, I'm going to go outside and click and literally lower this cutter down. It kind of works like punch it in um, machine tools. The only difference is that it works on geometry, it doesn't exist, which is pretty bloody awesome, if you ask me. So here, if I wanted to, for instance, modify this cutter, what I could do is, you know, go operations and smart apply that, grab this edge here and start modifying this cutter inside of actually a live cut, which is pretty bloody crazy. So this will be one of the usages of this tool. Another one would be, you know, solidification. So let's go back here, okay, a little bit. And let's say I wanted to extract this face here and solidify it outside. I can do this as well. So Q, uh, I'll then go to Mesh Tools and Face Extract, Control click here, and then with Alt, we're going to scroll down to um, Solidification. Then gonna press Space, and then you can solidify it outside. And uh, you got something like this. But now, for example, I can run an edge here, Control B to split it in half. And now what I can do is cut this inside, right? So. Normally, what I would need to do is go to a uh, local view and, you know, apply this solidification to be able to see the face on the bottom. But with this tool, I don't have to do that. I go to Q, Mesh Tools, Face Extract, which will automatically bring me to local view. Click here, Control click here, press Space, then press Z to see actually through Mesh. And now you can, you know, now you can adjust the size of this cartridge. Click, 
move it upwards and click again and you got cut like this. So you can see the possibilities with this tool are quite insane. And the last tool will be extraction, so face extract, select faces and scroll to extraction and simply press space which will extract these faces here on top of that mesh. Now I want to show you some more examples of how to use this tool in practice because they are quite powerful. Let's go to edit mode, go to Q, control click on mark to create a live bevel and we're going to make it quite dense, okay? And we're going to mirror this to the other side, okay? So now what I got, I got a live bevel here on these two edges uh, through hard ups. But if I wanted to, for example, go to face extract and now, you know, I go through the mesh tools and face extract, and I wanted to select these faces around here. That's a lot of selections because, you know, there are a lot of faces. But what you can do, you can press W to remove the last bevel from the equation. Now all you need to do is select just these faces, press, uh, space and then scale it click and you know and you, you're good to go now if you want to bevel this cutter you can always go to uh, edge mode here press q control click on mark and you can bevel that and you got a live bevel on that cutter which is you know again a live cutter another one would be decimation so let's say um, i'm going to grab another cube right and i'm going to move it in here and i'm going to do, oh, subdivide this cube so right click subdivide shift down a few times now if i'm gonna go to um mesh tools and you know the face extract you will see that uh to be able to select this entire face i'm gonna spend two hours selecting all these you know rectangles uh, but what you can do is you can press d for decimation to decimate everything and then you know i press space inside it click and pop your uncle and you still got this cube is subdivided but your cutter actually isn't which is pretty cool and this is fantastic because it will not add another geo on top of your mesh because let me show you if i wanted to extract this face here from the top let me just very quickly add um seams so it's gonna be easier to select that seams and i'm gonna recalculate sharpen by Control shift clicking on sharpen which will add seams to my edges here around so I can hover over my mesh, press L and select this face within the seam. And then if I wanted to, you know, let's say extract it. So I'm going to shift click on curve extract and scale it in. And then I'm going to Boolean then. So difference, you will see that my cutter will actually, if I'm going to apply this, will actually enforce geometry onto that mesh, which is not something that I want to do. Then the last thing I want to mention is the top menu. You can actually use the top menu to pause things. So let's say that I have this uh, cube here. I'm gonna go to face extract, select these two faces. I'm gonna press space and then I want it to press tab. Instead of using hotkeys, you can actually press tab and you can, for example, click on extrude and extrude, press tab again, and let's say confirm. And this will apply, you know, uh, this um, cut just as if you were using hotkeys. So this tool is fantastic. It supports creativity because it's so quick and uh, you can really create some impossible shapes that normally would be an absolute bastard in vanilla blender and uh, i'll just download impossible so thanks for watching see you in the next one